Isagi Hiori and Kunigami are staring intensively towards the ball as Ness trapped the ball in between Tokimitsu and Zantetsu. If you visit this channel frequently, consider subscribing. Ness passes the ball towards Grimm, and Grimm passes the ball towards Michael Kaiser in a beautiful curve. Michael Kaiser is about to get the ball now, with Karasu marking him pretty tightly, I gotta say. I bet Ness would want to be that close to Kaiser's body. Shidu and Kunigami suddenly join the pack as Kaiser getting the ball doesn't look as certain right now. This results in Shidu and Kunigami tapping the ball at the same time as this is Kunigami's comeback arc. The ball is loose now as it flew over Tokimitsu and Ness with Raichi being the one to intercept it with his chest. He thought that it was his chance to make a play now, but little did he know that Charles Chevalier suddenly got in his way as he told Raichi that he is just a meathead who is constantly sacrificing himself for the sake of others. I get where that's coming from since he is playing in the midfield instead of the striker position and hasn't scored a single goal within the entirety of Blue Lock to my knowledge. From the outside, he usually looks like someone who gets triggered and mad easily, but he's actually pretty compassionate towards others and for the game, like we've seen many times within and outside of the Neo-Egoist League. Meanwhile, Charles is thanking him for doing all the heavy lifting as he references that trap he made with his chest just a couple of seconds ago. Raichi gets kind of pissed as Hiori suddenly came to the realization that he he screwed up. We now get to know that if Hiori had just backed up Raichi, he would have gotten the ball by now, which is why he's frustrated with himself. He ponders to himself that there has to be a better way to outread the prodigy Charles Chevalier as Hiori needs to pay attention to the details. And I'd argue he could actually do that with his meta vision. From what I've observed, the egoists who have meta vision are actually not on the same level in terms of their capabilities with the vision itself, because there are more external factors that have different causes and effects effects when a player is out on the field. For instance, in chapter 199, Isagi couldn't utilize his vision because he didn't have the physicality or the partner to back him up so that he could find more opportunities. When a player like Kaiser gets confronted with a situation like this, he reacts way differently because he has the physical specs to back it up even when he uses Ness. Ness is a liability for him and not a necessity. This means that if Hiori doesn't do something quickly, he won't be able to catch up to his creativity and playmaking. He reckoned that this is is hard and impossible to figure out on the first attempt. He reckons that getting killed on the first try is like figuring out how to beat the final boss after getting killed multiple times. Hiori declares that he will defeat the prodigy Charles Chevalier and clear the game. Charles and Rin are dribbling up the field now towards Isagi, as Rin wants to link up with Charles. Although he had acknowledged Rin here, he realized that the way he runs is super boring, which meant that Charles used Rin as a decoy to further advance up the field. Hiori is trying to get in his way now as he tells him that he saw it coming. Charles activates his meta vision now as he acknowledged Hiori with better praise than his own teammate Itoshi Rin, but he's still a tempo too slow according to Charles as he delivered a cross with the outside of his foot. It almost looks like Charles is toying with the egoists as they fail to outread them. The egoists feel as if Charles is dictating everything on the field right now, but at least they've still got the dark horse Kunigami who is looking to tame Shidu. He managed to intercept the ball and shoot it away from the prodigy Shidu Ryusei, much to Charles, his surprise. Isagi is praising Kunigami now, as he realized that ever since he matched up against Shidu, his performance has been getting better and better. Well, I know where that's come from. Even though he's skillfully using his supreme physical ability to contain Shidu, it's because he's been waiting a long time to get his revenge on Shidu, which is all the way since the second selection where he got put into a garbage can. His emotions allowed him to reach this top performance, although he looks to be pretty cold from the outside looking in after coming back from the wild card. Isagi is realizing that Kunigami hasn't actually changed that much after all since his time before the wild card, as he's still that passionate and hot-blooded guy in the eyes of a the glimpse of his former self is still there as Kunigami's ego is still burning inside of him. Hiori reckons that Charles' his options will decrease now that Shidu is being kept at bay. This is where the game's momentum will shift, as Shidu asks Kunigami to get out of his way. Kunigami wonders if that's all he's got as he asks him if he used all of his explosives on that goal. Shidu looks to be pretty mad as Isagi runs up to these egoists. He tells Kunigami that if it weren't for his assistance, 
he would have been completely useless. Kunigami seems to realize what Isagi is trying to do here, which is to link up with him, as Isagi asks Kunigami to lend him a hand for his explosion. Isagi proposed to get some stake with Kunigami after this and go at it like the good old times. If they're using a top performance chemical reaction, then the thing that Isagi and the boys have to do is to do it with three people instead of two, which he calls the triflow chemistry reaction. Watch this playlist next if you want to see more videos like this.